Oh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Sunday service. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I'm the independent uh, minister of the gospel. Amen. And so today we're going to get into First Chronicles chapter twenty-one through twenty-four, and then next week we'll finish off First Chronicles. <clears throat> With that being said, let's go ahead and pray, and let's get into the Word. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, you are holy, righteous King. Lord, you are the King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, for your Word. Thank you, Lord, for your blood that was shed for many. And, Lord, we uh, repent of every sin that we co committed, Lord, and Lord, we, we ask that you plead the blood of Jesus over our hearts, minds, and strength. And uh, we thank you, Lord, for the time together as, you know, as we get into your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. First Chronicle chapter 21. Wait for the word. All right. First Chronicles 21. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Israel from Beersheba even to Dan, and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. And Joab answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But my lord the king... Are they not all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed and went throughout all Israel and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand thousand and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred threescore and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Benjamin counted he not among them, for the king's word was abominable to Joab. And God was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. But now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee either three years' famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while that the sword of thine enemies overtaketh thee, or else... Three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto God, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel seventy thousand men. And God sent an angel into Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand... I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David, that David should go up 
and set up an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David went up at the saying of Gad, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Ornan turned back and saw the angel, and his four sons with him, hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David, and went out of the threshing floor, and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. And David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Ornan said unto David, Take it to thee, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the threshing instruments for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering. I give it all. And King David said to Ornan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price. For I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. So David gave to Ornan for the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight. And David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord. And he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. And the Lord commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheet thereof. At that time when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the threshing floor of Orna and the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of the Lord which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Gibeon. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. Mm. Chapter 22. First Chronicles 22, then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of the burnt offering for Israel. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. And he sent masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails, for the doors of the gates, and for the joinings and brass in abundance without weight, also cedar trees in abundance, for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Solomon, my son, is young and tender, and the house that is to be builded for the Lord must be exceeding magnifical, of fame and of glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly before his death. And he called for Solomon his son, and charged him to build a house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build an house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies round about. For his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build an house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong, and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Now behold in my trouble... I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand thousand talents of silver, and of brass and iron without weight. For it is in abundance. Timber also, and stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add thereto. Moreover, there are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and all manner of kind. 
cunning men for every manner of work. Of the gold, the silver, and the brass, and the iron, there is no number. Arise, therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the princes of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land into mine hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord, and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise, therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord God, to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God into the house that is to be built to the name of the Lord. All right, chapter 23. 1 Chronicles 23. So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king. 1 Chronicles 23. So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. And he gathered together all the princes of Israel with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of thirty years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was thirty and eight thousand, of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord, and six thousand were officers and judges. Moreover, four thousand were porters, and four thousand praised the Lord with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Of the Gershonites were Ladan and Shimei. The sons of Ladan, the chief was Jehiel, and Zetham, and Joel, three. The sons of Shimei, Shalemith, and Haziel, and Haran, three. These were the chief of the fathers of Ladan. And the sons of Shimei were Jahath, Zina, and Jeush, and Beriah. These four were the sons of Shimei. And Jahath was the chief, and Ziza the second, but Jeush and Beriah had not many sons, therefore they were in one reckoning, according to their father's house. The sons of Kohath, Amran, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel, four. Sons of Amran, Aaron, and Moses. And Aaron was separated, that he should sanctify the most holy things, in his sons forever, to burn incense before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now concerning Moses, the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. Sons of Moses were Gershom and Eliezer. Of the sons of Gershom, Shebuel was the chief. And the sons of Eliezer were Rehabiah the chief, and Eliezer had none other sons. But the sons of Rehabiah were very many. Of the sons of Izhar, Shelemeth the chief. Of the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamim the fourth. Of the sons of Uziel, Micah the first, and Josiah the second. The sons of Marai, Malai, and Mushai. The sons of Malai, Eleazar, and Kish. And Eleazar died, and had no sons but daughters. And their brethren, the sons of Kish, took them. The sons of Mushai, Malai, and Eder, and Jeremoth, three. These were the sons of Levi, after the house of their fathers. Even the chief of the fathers as they were counted by number of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord from the age of twenty years and upward. For David said, The Lord God of Israel hath given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem for ever, and also unto the Levites. They shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessels of it for the service thereof. For by the last words of David, the Levites were numbered from twenty years old and above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord in the courts and in the chambers and in the purifying of all holy things and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the showbread and for the fine flour for meat offering and for the unleavened cakes and for that which is baked in the pan and for that which is fried, and for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, 
and on the set feasts, by number, according to the order commanded unto them, continually, before the Lord, and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> That's chapter 8, chapter 24. First Chronicles 24. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Ithamar according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another. For the governors of the sanctuary and governors of the house of God were of the sons of Eleazar and of the sons of Ithamar. And Shemaiah, the son of Nathaniel, the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king and the princes and Zadok the priest and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eleazar and one taken for Ithamar. And the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Jedaiah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malkaja, the sixth to Mijamin, the seventh to Hakoz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshebiab, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Emer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Avses, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Jehezekiel, the one and twentieth to Jachin, the two and twentieth to Gamal, the three and twentieth to Delaiah, the four and twentieth to Maaziah. These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Jedaiah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ishiah, of the Israelites, Shalometh, of the sons of Shalometh, Jahath, and the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechamim the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamir, the brother of Micah was Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, Sons of Merari were Malai and Mushai, the sons of Jaziah, Beno, the sons of Merari, by Jaziah, Beno, and Shoham, and Zakur, and Ibrai. Of Malai came Eleazar, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jeremiel. The sons also of Mushai, Malai, and Edda, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers, over against their younger brethren. Oh, okay. All right, so that was it. <clears throat> Let's see here. In chapter 21, we see David's army, uh, uh, what's it called, David, you know, David did another, um, military thesis, which God, was saints intend him to do, uh, and then the judgment for David's sin, and a plague on Israel, and in chapter 22, to prepare for the time, Solomon anointed to build the temple, in chapter 23, the division of the Levites and Levites to these Levites. And then in chapter 24, 24 division of the priests. 
this is still continue on the more uh, detailed of David's reign, uh, which is pretty interesting uh, so far. Uh, so next week we'll get into First Chronicles chapter twenty five to twenty nine, which that's the whole entire book. There's only uh, twenty nine chapters, and then uh, and then we'll review from Genesis to First Chronicles. And see how God was moving amongst the nation of Israel throughout time, and then, uh, and then uh, we'll, and then next Sunday we're going to be doing our last uh, topical sermon of the year. And I'm still thinking about some changes, but I'm just being led by the Holy Spirit and see what He wants me to do. However. Um, we're still going to have Sabbath service and Sunday service and I may do something different on Wednesday, on Wednesday nights, you know, uh, Lord willing, <clears throat> but God is good. Amen. Um, so yeah, so may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.